After adolescence, we move into our early adulthood. This encompasses the time from when we are about 18 to 29 years of age. And as you might imagine, most of the research on early adult friendships focuses on college students, but those aren't the only types of early adult friendships that exist, of course. Now, when we are in early adulthood, we are still formulating our understanding of relational processes. And the friendships that we have in early adulthood are much more intimate than the ones that they had in that, that we had when we were adolescents. Our early adulthood friendships provide us with vital feedback about our self-concept our careers, our romantic and sexual relationships, and our civic, social, political, and extracurricular activities. To put it more simply, our early adulthood friends have a huge impact on who we turn out to be. They can impact who we think we are, the careers that we get into, the romantic relationships we get into, and how we interact with the world around us as well. And it's inevitable that we will lose ties with some of our friends from adolescence as we move into early adulthood. And this can have both positive and negative consequences. In a lot of cases, our old friendships are a basis of comparison for our new friends. So we tend to be rather picky with our new friends and we pick friends that are better for us in most cases. Um, but um, at the, on the other hand, nurturing our older friendships at the expense of meeting new people could potentially impede our growth and could stop us from becoming the person that we could potentially be. Because if we are not exposing ourselves to new people and instead sticking with these comfortable relationships from our childhood, that can really have a big impact on our sense of self. Right, Because as we were saying, our early adulthood friendships provide us feedback on our self-concept and our careers and all of these other things. And so sometimes it's just necessary and uh, it's healthy even to lose those ties fr with our friends from our adolescence and to develop new relationships in our early adulthood. That's not to say that we have to ditch every single one of our adolescent friends. By, by all means, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, but instead, we need it's okay if we lose touch with some people from our adolescence because we do need to grow and change into our early adulthood. <laughs> 